<sighs> Hi everyone, so a few days ago I decided to get real physical exercise for the first time in a while, and now I can't walk straight, so that's fun. Um, let me just tell you getting set up for this was not fun on said back, so, um, yeah, this isn't as much as March, but some of the stuff is better. So without further ado, let's get to one of my favorite B toys of all time. Ow. Okay. Anyways, um, I need to adjust my lighting. That is way too bright. There we go. It's the my first mobile phone. This was sitting on Mercari for as close to nothing as you can realistically get. I think I paid just under ten bucks. Um, this is just not worth anything. I mean, it's in box, and I don't have that much reason to take it out, except for, um, it can, in fact, record personal messages. Okay. Well, I got it. I got something out. Here we go. There's that bear that torments me. For multiple reasons. Um... You know a toy's good when it's only in a Baby Da Vinci kid scene? I mean, five points is five points, but I'd rather have it on most other toys than this. My mom made fun of me for it, and I agree. So... Can I get this open? At all? Is, is it possible? Hold on, let me stop the camera. I'm gonna try and open it really quick. Okay, quick update. Uh, this happened. So, here's the back, before I throw this away. This is not something I see at all, basically, so that's why I got it. If only it was uh, any other international playthings toy that is extremely rare. Ugh. Oh god, there's like light. Oh my god, okay. Stopping the camera again. Holy shit! I'm so proud of myself, I did it! It wasn't that hard, really. I just had to untwist this little twisty thing. Twist tie, whatever. Um... See, this does need batteries. But, uh, I'm not gonna get those right now. I really don't care, too, honestly. So, here you go. I've spent too long on this. Uh-oh. Not, not my proudest buy, ever. Um, okay. Let's review the things that fell when I was grabbing it. Here's one of them. This one is... <gasps> Cool, and also was cheaper, so there's a, another benefit. Oh, it doesn't do great on velvet. Oh. Oh, God. Okay, let's... Let's put it on the baby Mozart VHS, which we will be reviewing at some point. That, that does help. Okay, it is the rocking horse guy balance thing from Roller Rhythm. I won a bid for this, and the bid itself was two dollars, but the shipping was like five, so this ended up being seven, which... This thing's usually like fifteen to twenty bucks, and look how small it is, like, that is just not worth it. I mean, it's cool, I would have paid like ten, but... Uh, just... Fairly... Guys, actually, I can't really make fun of it, because it's related to a kinetic, and you know how I feel about those. But it's just not worth that much. I was expecting it to be a little bigger, but it's like, four inches tall. Like, jeez. It is the exact one. It's got a, a compared, I held it side by side to my World of Rhythm copy. Um, yeah. This only came yesterday, so... It came, it came in two days, by the way. I ordered it the 25th. Also, if you... If my voice gets weird for like a sec, it's me bending over and my back reacting to that and going down my neck into my vocal cords. I, I could maybe not elaborate as much, but... Whatever. Okay, now we have, just like last time, a stupid common fold bandage puff that I took way too long to get. This time, it's the rabbit in a hat. Okay, you get to see the background. Um, this was $12. That's it. It's nothing, 
nothing else to say. Everybody and their well, okay, fine. Everybody has this, but it's only some people's grandmothers do. Like my mine doesn't. Very sad. Um. Yeah. It does not smell very good. It smells like package. But I guess that's to be expected. So. Okay, moving on. Okay. Sorry, uh, we have a much rarer puppet that took me expectedly long to get. Not, not really anything that weird. Um, it is the Pondo Frogs. And this thing's rare as fuck, and it... I had to go through multiple Mercari accounts to get this coupon, because it was... 22 bucks plus like 5 shipping, and I was not paying that, so I got a coupon for 10 off of 20, and it became worth it. Although I had to use my mommy's credit card, which, uh, I'm glad to not do that again because, uh, I just paid her back instead of continuing to do this. Like, uh, hmm, I don't know anyone who does that. Or who got banned from doing so. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, this thing's really rare, obviously. I almost never see it. I think it's appeared twice in the past year, and before that it's had been a while, so yeah. It's cool, and it was at a good price, so I'm glad to own it and be one of the only three people to do so. <sighs> Standing up has become a chore. Okay, let's just grab two things. Alright, let's, let's zoom in, hold on. Hold on. Ah, you saw it already, but I don't care. <laughs> Alright, we have... Yeah. Fuck. Oh my god, why is this so hard? Okay, it was tangled. But anyways, we have the puppy pull toy. I was in on it. Hold on. I got this from Mr. Ten for a couple tapes I gave him. Um, I didn't... This thing is actually really small, actually. Um... I see it for ridiculous prices for what it is. This thing is not worth much at all. It's in okay condition. I mean, it does pull and move like it is supposed to. Oof. Ah! I'm trying to... Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm now a 70-year-old woman. But anyways, uh... Yeah. Nothing... Nothing particularly... Different from this one compared to all the other people who have this. It's one of the least rare, very rare toys, but I don't want to put it down because, as I said, it goes for too much. So, um, yeah, I guess I'm glad I have it. Alright, and next we have. Hear that? Yeah, this is the sound this makes. It's the farm top from Lullaby Time, and it. It sounds... I don't even know how to explain it. It's really weird. Although it actually spins surprisingly well in the black... Oh, okay, never mind. Well, oh well. Um... <clears throat> we got this for 10 bucks on Marketplace. Would not have paid a, a, really a dime more. It works, and that's about all I can say. It's rare, but not that rare. Also, it appears at first source hilariously often. I don't, I don't know if I love or hate that sound. It's weird. Yeah, um... Not that rare, but I am now beating DG in love with my time again. Oh god. Okay. Well, something just fell, so I guess we're doing that next. It's another pull toy. These have never happened before. Except it's kind of weird. It is the ducks from Neptune, but... This guy looks different, and it's also not painted. This is only- this was 18 bucks. The item itself was 5, but the shipping was like 13, so... Um, yeah. Here we go. This- come on, come on, bob. There we go. It should bob now. Because that is the main gimmick of this. There we go. Not not a not a really fun one to film. Oh god. Ow. 
Although I'm glad I got it, and I still get four points because it is not exact, but it's definitely close enough to count. Um, and let me throw away the way that. Uh, let me. Fuck. Okay. Let me throw away the rest of my trash to the mobile phone, even though this trash can can definitely not hold it at all. Oh god. All right. Only a. Actually, everyone on Discord, pretty much, but no one else. Uh, new notes that I got black light reactive tape to tape on kinetics, and I took the tape off the kinetics earlier. It was really easy, luckily, it was already falling off. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so here it is. I can't show it with the black light right now, but, um, I made a bunch of clips with like putting on the 4MS, the Venus, the spinning balls. I haven't uploaded them yet. Maybe we'll make a compilation. Um, but yeah, it works well, even though I have used a lot of it. So it would be a good investment if you are good with that type of stuff and have a good black light. Because I have these two small, like, um, rectangular shaped ones, and then I also got bulbs, and they work way better. I actually had them plugged in the lamps I'm using for lighting, but I had to take them off because that's not real lighting, for the situation at least. But, um, yeah, I will have to upload those clips soon, even though I already sent them to Rift for a thing. Okay, we are getting there, sure, slowly but surely, and a bunch of DVDs fell, so let's grab them. And yes, getting DVDs is weird at this point, but you'll see why I tried to get them. Or, well, I did get them, but they're weird. Alright, so if any does anyone remember there's this there's this lot before with a weird Wordsworth DVD that just did not look right. I know DJ sent it, I forgot if he got it or not, but um It happened and this DVD is for, from the same series. Baby Newton and I don't know if that's by the Walt Disney Company, I'm sorry. Um, it's, no, it's by Radio City. Also, it's age one to three. Not ages, but... By the way, what what is this on the back? Where did they pull this out of their ass? And I, I don't think... I think there's a few words spelled wrong, probably. I can't... I don't feel like looking, but, uh... Look at this. Pakistan, yeah. It's even got a barcode, but it didn't do anything. So yes, Pakistan, Pakistani Davy Einstein DVDs are, for whatever reason, a thing. Don't ask why. The inside, I... Um, it's supposed to have a DVD that looks just like this, but it's Newton, but this one's Meet the Orchestra. So, whoops. I think the Newton is in a different lot, though. So there were six DVDs in here for $7 total. This is a My First Signs, obviously why I bought the lot, um, for, gir for Girl Duck and her amazing Brahms lullaby singing. So yeah, we didn't really want that. Um, this one just lost the cover art, but this is, this is Newton. It's also holographic, what the hell? Yeah, they just don't look right. They play normal though. I think they're, I think Newton was okay. Um, there's a regular Newton 04. But my first signs is in there, and there's a also regular Shakespeare 04 with this thing still on it. Hold on, yeah, that that thing's still on it. And then there's uh, the reason I bought the lot, the uh, Caseless First Moves DVD. That may, maybe we'll have to destroy that at some point. Because uh, does, would anyone buy that? And would I make any money on it with fees? Like no, I would not. Anyways, let me get back into my comfy chair that does not feel like I'm breaking my back. Even though it still does. Um, and if you remember that Mozart VHS, it's actually because I got a VHS slot. I know, that doesn't happen very often anymore because I have most of them, but um... All, all, most of these are for sale on eBay right now. I will link my store in the description. You can buy them for okay prices. They're not great, but they have make offer on for most of them. 
This is just Mozart with CD, no CD, it's 03. I honestly don't feel like showing them in, in the listing pictures. There are better pics of everything, so just go view those. But yeah, Mozart. LN02 with CD. Da Vinci with CD, nothing weird like my copy that's printed in 05. Old Animals with CD, again, not blue or anything, or 04 or whatever. I, let me check if it's Leo 2 or 03. Okay, it's, it's Black Reels 03. Ah. I'm just letting you know this video is not comfortable to do, but I already said that, so it's not worth saying again. <sighs> numbers, numbers Nursery with CD, it is not 1 through 10 as you can. Um, Bago 2, but with a catch. Canadian. The copy on my eBay is American, and it's in a lot of just not very good VHS tapes for a decent price. Um, Shakespeare Blue. And then uh, the two I, that I'm actually keeping, Bach 99. I have, I have it, but it has Baby's Brain on the cover, although I don't think it plays Agner Clark. Um, and then this weird thing that could be 04, but it's not. It plays 03. It has a warning screen. Um, <sighs> Van Gogh 03. No, nothing special. I don't think it's Black Reels. Um, Galileo Blue. And Dude No 2. Alright, let me stop the camera and then talk about it. So I found these back in January, and the seller told me, quote unquote, Hi. I can't ship until Spring March, so I messaged them in Spring March, asked them, and they said, maybe. And then I think I messaged them, like, earlier mid-April, and they just sent me a bunch of pictures of the lot, and it had, like, Monet with CD, McDonald with CD, um, Wordsworth caseless, Mozart 98 caseless. I already sold all those, and you can go into the sold listings on my eBay to see. Um... But that was just kind of a curveball, because the image just showed Noah, Numbers Nursery, with CD, and the Newton Note 2. So I did not expect any of that. Um, the lot was 60 bucks with shipping, which is not, by marketplace standards, sort of expensive, but it was worth it. I've already made that back from what I've sold, even though I've only keep, only keeping two tapes. And I just realized that the Mozart 98 I sold to Nuo. Um, was 3rd edition, I didn't have it, so, whoops, but eh, that's not too hard to get. I'll get it eventually. Um, great. Okay, that was quick, thank god. Um, let me put the VHS tapes back while bending down, which is not very good for my back. Ugh, man, I hope this goes away. The one time I actually want to do something physical and active, my body is just like, nope. So, probably won't be doing that again in the near future. It's just tennis. Oh my god. Hey, what? You know, that was just Jackie because now it's. Okay, so apparently talking is uh, bad, according to the dog. <laughs> Good to know. Okay, I'm glad I didn't get that last part on the video. Um, anyways, here is a normal kinetic that you always see. The Mercedes Benz Kinetic. Um, yeah, I don't know what the purpose of this being made was. I'm guessing there aren't very many that were made, because who wants a Mercedes Benz Kinetic? Well, I did, and it was 15 bucks on Marketplace with shipping, which wasn't bad. Although the box, the the box box, not the like King King actual box, but the box it got shipped in got so fucked. I mean. They had to write me a note saying, sorry, but, I mean, the kinetic's fine, so. It, it works questionably. It's just weird. But the box is even weirder. Because, look, B Jupiter on a King Teen box? Since when was that a thing? And, uh, that neon one. Battery-operated mobiles. Oh, my head. And then this and these, which, um, I have this one. So I can complete my collection, except I don't... I have a Chinese version of that one. It's not the not very good condition. Also, look, notice that the little line they tick to indicate is um on that, but that that is not in there. Also, apparently there's not a battery in this. I swear I put one in. All right. Um. Ow. <clears throat>
moving is hard. Hold on. So really quick, the seller of the Junior Jetway sent me this piece, and if I can somehow get the broken-ass plane to work, then this will be useful. But if not, then, oh well. But anyways, um... <sighs> Next we have the Full Commandist Labrador, which is a toy basically no one has. La Alex is listed for it, but he doesn't have a bunch of his shit anymore, so I don't know. But, um... Yeah, this was 16 bucks on Mercari and in good condition, so cannot complain. You get this angle. Because I don't know how how else to show it, at least from from this. Th I don't see this very often, which is why it's a very rare. So I just decided to get it, because why not? Um, and it's fairly cheap for a Polk Manus puppet, so yeah. Um... <clears throat> Alright, this just came today, and it was the one thing I was waiting for to do the review, so without further ado... It's the, oh, ow. It's the Not Musical Land. It's the version, actually the exact version Sage has with five planes. It also doesn't go as fast. Um... But it is cool, I got this off Walmart.com, of all things. So, it, ca it comes in a box. Here it is. The box is really tiny, actually. Uh, here. Here. I don't know what the difference between these two is, really. Just a different base. But, um... Yeah, this, there's a silver version here, too. For some reason. I don't have a whole lot else to say. This was 17 bucks, exactly. Well, 16.99. I'm so sorry. Um, and bending over to get this next thing did not feel good. Again. Alright, we got the happy cow. It got it from the same place I got my frog. Um, I'll give you a hint, they're not listed under spring mobiles at all, so good luck. This was also 18 bucks, which is a little much because it's kind of smaller than the frog and doesn't have as cool of a spring. But, um... It does work, and I like the spring, the, like the spring mobiles, so I just decided, sure. There's also this one on Etsy, which was listed as 14 bucks free shipping from Germany, which is actually a really good deal. But then a day later, the shipping changed to $50, so no fucking way. But, um, yeah. I like it. Ugh, I need to go faster. Okay, so my mom is napping, so we will not be able to test this per se. Oh. Ow. But I finally have the Castle Pounder after an unusually long amount of time because it's always so much. Thermal Legends found this on Marketplace, and you want to know why it was so cheap? It was listed under Toy, with nothing else. So that's uh, that's a search I might have to do. It's got all four balls. The red one's like really sunk in, but it is there. And except for the fact that what is this? You can see a little bit of green on it, but what happened? Why is it blood? I tried washing it off, like in the sink, and nothing came off, so I don't know what they did to this, but it's weird. And this is in really good condition for 16 bucks, I mean, jeez. They go for like 50 with nothing in them. Hell, I've seen them for 100 with nothing in them, I've seen people buy them for 100 with nothing in them, so... This could be free money whenever I want. Um, there are a lot of things that change things, and then the door, and it's not super faded like I've seen a lot of them, so I'm glad to have it, even though it is, it is really big. I remember seeing it at Brandon B's house when we met, and it actually, I feel like I remember seeing it smaller than this, but obviously, no. So yeah, I would test it if I could, but I'd r rather not. Okay. How many things do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's start with this. Well, let's continue with this one. So this is the only real thing I got from thrifting a couple weeks ago. It is this dolphin mobile, which I found by accident about a week after I got it. And it's worth like $100, $200. So that's fun. Um... It's glass, or like porcelain, or whatever. 
and it's got every piece but one. So let me show it. I can't, okay, I can't really show it, but that's the best angle you're getting. I like how it looks a lot. It was 10 bucks at Savers. It would have been like 5 at Goodwill, but still, for a thing that's worth 200 bucks, 10 is not bad at all. So, yeah. Is there anything else to say about it? I don't know. Probably not. By the way, for the last five toys, you'll get to see this as the backdrop, so that's fun. Anyways, my favorite toy of all time! That is extremely rare. Okay. <sighs> okay. For some reason, no one had this, but uh, we can fix that now. It's Lily Lamb from LN04. What a great replacement. I love when they make it do this. That was really fun, honestly. Isn't that good? Why did they use this? Why did I have to buy it? This is a Google Lens find. It was listed under Stuffed Animal on Mercari. Um, it is just not something you should ever pay real money for. I mean, you can debate if $12 was real money or not. I, I, I don't think so, personally. But, uh... Yay. My Mira Ellen collection is not that good, so this does help, but why? Alright, we got three cone puppets, which is not something I've ever, I thought I'd ever say, but yes. So let's start with the outlier, and the least, well actually, no, the rarest. What am I talking about? Um, this is my only item I've ever, well, good thing, I've ever found with my safe searches somehow. Um, and it's the barely not exact girl cone puppet from Van Gogh. It's super close. I'm, the, the image that Co found that we've used for a while is also this version with slightly different flowers. I think the one in the Petra Toys image is the exact. But this is so close and this was already ultra rare that I just gave myself five. Because like, jeez. And this, it's weird because the stick is really bendy. Like, you can just, and it'll be fine. I don't know what material it is, but it's weird. And it's kind of annoying how it's always off-center, just by a little bit. Um, this was a little much, 25 bucks, but it was originally 40 so I got the seller to lower it down, thankfully. They still have three other ones like this up, but none of them are B, and they're all a little much for just a random cone puppet, so... But yeah, I'm glad I got this, because Van Gogh toys, hmm. Anyways, the other two cone puppets came from a sort of new, I think, B enthusiast. I think he may have been a long time lurker, but uh, he just had these lying around, so I paid him 35 bucks for both of them, and they are the giraffe, although this little, this little part came off, whatever. Yeah, they're the giraffe, and I'll show the other one in a sec. But yeah, he bought these from Petra in, um, 2006. And he told me that he also got the Jumping Clowns from Newton, which he did, I, I think he lost, but oh my god, if he ever finds those again somehow. Because those are rare as fuck. And he also said he was going to get the Penguin, but they didn't have it, so that kind of... Shows when some of these were discontinued, although you could go back to the way back and see. But yeah, only like three, only three people have the old version of this, even though it's probably the most common comb puppet in BE, somehow. The other most common is probably this one, because that one weird website. It is the cow. And I did a clip of this, so you already know I got it. And then the enthusiast I got it from was, I'll just say his name, and if you know him, great. If you don't, I'm not explaining. Slava. So, yeah. I think I, fa I think I found his Pinterest, and then saw what he had, and yeah. But these are cool, and it was a good price for both of them, so I cannot complain. And especially that they got sent in a Chewy.com box, I really appreciate that. Um, alright, we got one more thing. This room's a little bit of a mess, but hey, I cleaned it earlier, so that's good enough. Um, this is the last time I'll have to bend. 
Well, except for walking downstairs. Okay. Let me grab the plug for it. <clears throat> No, 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 don't fall. Thank you. Okay. So, I... I the only plasma ball I had as of a few weeks ago was this really bad one that's like two inches tall and doesn't even work anymore. So I decided it would be a good investment to get a better one. And to get a better one, I did. Hold on, let me plug it. I still need to plug it in. Okay. Let's turn the lights off. Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean turn the lights off as if, as, uh, as, um, fall into the background. Okay. Sorry, I can't show this well. I made some better clips at night, but it's the plasma ball, and I found it by a company called Clearline, Cle Clearline something, I don't know. But, um, ooh. Okay, ignore it being incredibly red, because I can't change that right now. Actually, there we go, that looks better. And it move. it's really close to pocket. It has a sensitivity setting, but it doesn't really work. And just like all plasma balls, you can do this, and this, and yeah, it's actually really, it's really big. It was on Mercari for 16 bucks. I think I already said that. Um, and I thought it, it said 8 inches, so I thought it meant 8 inches as in, um, the entire thing, but no, the globe itself is 8 inches, and the base adds like another 7, so it's pretty damn tall. But it was a very good investment, um, it is selling for like 100 bucks on eBay and Etsy. Obviously in better condition, but who cares? So yeah, I'm really glad I got it. And I will have to upload those clips sometime soon. Because they look pretty close to Bach. Although I forgot to do the thing where you put your fingers on it, so, oh well. Because I totally forgot Bach did that. But, yeah. Alright, well, I can give my back a rest now and go downstairs and edit this video. So I will go do that. Um, I don't think May is going to be the month of B enthusiast trades because I have like four that I'm going to get stuff from. So, yeah. I don't know if they'll be as good as this, but it'll probably be close. Goodbye.